Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. A special thank you to all of my outstanding Patreons for your continued encouragement and support. Patreon members get access to hundreds of high resolution photos, previews of the future material, and direct dialogue with me. If you would like to support my channel, please consider becoming a patron using this link, which is also in the video description. Please also consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons as this helps as well. Thank you. This map indicates the entire Giga Texas property line shown in red and all of the areas of construction around the site, which includes the green area with the foundation, that's the phase one original plan, the six areas of additional construction, and the magenta area, which is also known as the Bobcat project area. For today's flight, we will be predominantly concentrating on areas one through six and the magenta Bobcat project area in the east. We start today across the highway looking at that foundation area and with the drier ground they've been able to start the uh, earth moving again. As you can see in the upper right hand corner photo with the arrow there's some sort of uh, rectangular foundation kind of area emerging and the bottom right you can see that the hills and ponds are really being removed now. Flying back over to look at the General Assembly building, we see that the second row of windows is being installed now. We see that more of the floors are being poured with concrete. And on the south end, we see that uh, more steel has been added and now they're within six sections of the uh, cornered perimeter grade beam on the south. Next, we check out the central area where we see that it's significantly more dried out. The water vaults, the, the one line has been completed now. They're working on that middle section and the excavation has grown wider to the south for another row of columns. Over on the east side where the battery cathode plant will be built, we now see that the ground is dry enough that earth moving has resumed. Some work on the foundation has resumed as well and some more work in that uh, temporary parking lot area just to the south of the uh, foundation. We then fly up to that uh, clearing area just northeast of the Martin Marietta batch plant and we see that more earth moving and dirt excavation has been uh, resumed and the area continues to grow to the north and east. We then quickly go up to the old batch plant area and that lined pond, if you will, and uh, still water is remaining in it, which will need to be removed, but all of the water near the south end of the uh, electrical switch yard has been uh, drained out now. And we end up over in the casting machine area where we see that the uh, ponded water has been removed and pumped out. Now they have eight columns installed and three more ready to go later today. We also see that the casting machines uh, are continuing to produce castings. They're lined up and ready for transport. I hope you found this overview informative and will be helpful throughout the video to put things into context. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga Texas.